Hey guys, today we're gonna to be talking about the scariest thing that's ever happened to me when I was out camping. It was in a national forest at nighttime and I was by myself. I was solo camping, completely alone. Now, before I get into what happened, I just wanna take a second and say thank you to every single person who subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate that. To all the comments, I enjoy them every single day. I really appreciate it. Just wanna take a second to say thanks, guys. I mean it. So a couple months ago, I went on a solo trip. This was an overnight trip and I made a mistake. I did something that I know not to do out in the woods. And, and if you look here, I'm making the mistake right now. If you look, you can see it. To step back a little bit, this was a simple little overnight trip out in the uh, Pike National Forest in Colorado. So this is just gonna be an overnighter. Not gonna hike too far, but look for a really cool spot that we can set up, get a fire going to cook dinner. I was exploring a really cool area, one that I had wanted to go look at but didn't really know, and I came across this ledge that had just an unbelievable view off of it. When you take a look here, I knew I was gonna set my tent right here, get camp going, and record a cool video. Again, record a cool video. That was in my head, right? Not take the proper steps in the woods, not do what you're supposed to do, but record a cool video. Now, next to my tent, right next to my tent, was a pre-built fire ring. Someone had already built this next to the cliff, out of the wind, really convenient. So I gathered firewood, got everything together, got my grill going, and was able to get dinner cooking, man. And here's the thing, this campfire ring, uh, campfire ring was about five, maybe 10 feet from my tent. 10 feet, we'll say, from my tent. You can see here, again, look, I'm cooking, and I'm cooking right by the tent. Not only am I cooking, look what I'm doing. I'm doing steak. I got it right on the grill, dripping juices down into the fire pit. I've got salt, pepper, garlic going, and I'm cooking all of this stuff right by my damn tent. Now I know not to do this, you guys. I grew up camping, I grew up going out in the woods a lot, and I was always told, you know, obviously you keep food away from the tent. You never even get it close, never inside. And when you do hear about accidents out in the woods where an animal has an accident by getting too close to a human, it's typically because that human had food in their tent. Almost always happened. All right, so finished product looks amazing, right? The steak was great, vegetables were great. The view was even better, in fact, amazing. And so after an amazing dinner, great night, I tucked into the tent, okay? And it got dark, completely dark out there. And mind you, I'm in my tent 10 feet from that fire pit. So not filming at this point, video wasn't running. I actually had a microphone with me, a Zoom microphone. That wasn't going at the same time. But I was in the tent, it was dark, and I had a podcast playing very quietly as I was going through gear and getting things situated for nighttime. While I was faintly listening to this podcast, I all of a sudden, I realized I heard something at the fire pit sniffing or breathing. I didn't hear any footprints, I didn't hear anything walking, but all of a sudden I could hear And this is coming right from that fire pit where I was cooking just earlier, okay? And here's the thing, if you spent time in the woods, look guys, I've been around predators in the woods, I've had bear experiences, rattlesnakes, seen bobcats in the wild, all kinds of stuff, all right? And the things you don't hear walking are typically the predators. When you see, or I'm sorry, when you hear crunch, 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 crunch coming through the woods, oftentimes that's a raccoon, that's gonna be a skunk, it's something really loud. Birds, lizards, they make different sounds as well. I heard no walking, but just this. Next, I hear it coming to the tent and it's sniffing around my tent. I could hear that same sound, but now vestibule. I'm sitting in my tent, vestibule's in front of me, pack's right here, bear spray is in hand, and that thing is right outside the vestibule taking big whiffs of the tent. I was too scared to turn audio on or video, but I did have bear spray, safety off of it in my hand as I quietly sat there. This thing sniffed around the tent, 
went back to the fire ring, smelled a little bit more, and then I didn't hear it again. I sat probably 15 more minutes like this until you know I was able to kind of calm down, put my stuff away. And then in that situation, really, I mean, what are you gonna do, right? So uh, tried to chill out a little bit and calm myself down, get in my sleeping bag, read a little bit, maybe watched a video or two, and really never heard that breathing again. So was able to go to sleep, got a good night's sleep actually, which is kind of odd after all that went on. Maybe it was the adrenaline dump and then the after effects was able to crash. The next morning though, I thought I was gonna see a bear, or not a bear, but I thought I was gonna see bear tracks when I got outside. In fact, I was pretty sure that's what I was gonna see around the tent because it was like something was walking on pillows. I never heard it walk, but it was big because it was breathing heavily. So when I got outside, no bear tracks. What I did find, mountain lion tracks and all over the place. And I'm 6'3", 240 pounds right now probably. And if you look at my hand next to that paw print, that print is as big as my hand. So I made a big mistake, guys. I cooked right next to my tent because it looked cool and I thought it would be a cool video, but I didn't follow the basic rules of woodsmanship and being out there in the back country. Because of that, I had a big animal around my tent sniffing that should have never been there or I should have never been there. And that was my mistake. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. See you soon. Have a good day. Bye.